بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear and respected brothers, Alhamdulillah, we have amazing weather today and I'm out on my daily walk. And it's an absolute privilege to bring you this short clip on how we can incorporate exercise in order to look after our bodies, build up our immune system, fight inflammation and fight obesity, as well as following the example of the Prophet Sallallahu um, So, as you know, we're in lockdown. However, we are allowed to go out for a daily walk. Um, and, you know, what we would recommend is that you make the walk such that you get out of breath. Um, if you do 15 minutes of a power walk, make sure that you're not able to hold a conversation or 30 minutes of a walk of moderate intensity where you can hold a conversation, but it's slightly difficult to do that. Um, in addition, there have been a lot of studies around walking and running. They've found that people that go running have a lower all-cause mortality. So from that point of view, if they are less likely to die of... Um, deaths from heart disease and cancer as well as any other cause compared with people that don't run and you get that benefit even if you run once a week irrespective of how long you run for and how many times a week you run. So moving forward um, what I would like to suggest is that we absolutely make sure that we are following the example of the Prophet Sallallahu the Prophet Sallallahu was athletic and fit um, you know, he was able to tackle a man when he was uh, wrestling him. He وسلم, would walk at pace and he had quite a magnificent presence when he was walking. So it's time for us to get out. The best way to incorporate the exercise is to build it into your routine. I'm also going to talk to you briefly about HIIT exercise, which is high intensity interval training and how you can turn your daily walk into a bit of HIIT. So the way to do this is to alternate periods of, you know, maximum intensity walking with regular speed walking. And even if you do this for five to 10 minutes, you will have helped um, reduce weight, regulate your body's inflammatory response and fight the TOFI syndrome, which is still on the outside by fat on the inside by starting to burn um, toxic fat around the organs, the heart, the liver and the kidneys. So when I say walking at full intensity, that would be engaging your abdominal muscles, your buttock muscles and walking so you do feel short of breath. Um, and then, you know, slowing it down after, say, a couple of minutes and then walking at regular pace, inshallah. It's so nice and easy to fit in. The other things, of course, are things like strength exercises, which you should also be doing three times a week. You can use cans of baked beans, um, big um, milk cartons of four or six litres and use them as weights at home, um, inshallah. So before I go, I'd like to encourage you all to get out today and go for a wonderful walk. It's a beautiful day. Um, following the example of the Prophet says, Salam, take care of your health. Exercise is wonderful. It's free and it's on our doorsteps. It doesn't require much effort. It can be part of our daily routine. Okay, Jazakum Allah khairan, Sani Grafullah.